Oh, it felt great. I mean, the crowd started rolling in a little bit later, so there's a lot of great throws at the, towards the end of the competition. I was a little disappointed that I wasn't able to keep up with the guys as they started progressing to, you know, 82, 83 meters. But overall, season best, you know, it's a, it's a little bit better than my last competition two weeks ago. So we got three weeks to the Olympic trials, and I'll be hoping to, you know, better myself each each time I throw. So looking forward to the trials and looking forward to things beyond. Set you up pretty good, you think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm really progressing well in practice, you know. As we can see it out there in the field that I'm, you know, I'm consistently throwing those 80-meter throws that, uh, you know, that's what it takes to be world class. So uh, I think I'm right there. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And uh, just some of the guys were, were doing a little bit better today. But just, just so happy to be here, be on the world-class stage, Diamond League, Prefontaine, uh, Classic. It's just it's a fantastic place to be. I'm glad they had the javelin this year. Hopefully in the future they will as well. well this was international competition. Yeah. USA is obviously just national competition. Yeah. How do you feel you fit in there? Oh, I, I feel really great. I mean, that mark will put me, uh, I think, second in the U.S. right now, uh, just behind Tim Glover, who's going to have a long college uh, season. So we saw how he did it uh, Tucson Elite, struggled a little bit with the, the big guys. So, um, I, you know, anything can happen in a two-day trial. So when there's prelims and finals, uh, you know, someone could get dinged up in prelims and not throw well at finals, so um, trying to stay really healthy, stay fit, stay mentally sound, so that uh, I can be throwing well in finals and make that team. I mean, I started off really well, and I, I thought I was going to progress as the, as the meet went along, try to fine-tune a little bit of things, fix the technique, and they just weren't exactly happening how I wanted it, but I really can't go away disappointed with uh, with how well I did. 81 meters uh, feels great. You know, at a point in time, I was only out of third by seven centimeters, so I'm right there, and you can fix some really small things in the javelin and, and add considerable amount of dis distance, so I'm just uh, looking to fine-tune those small little things, get ready for the trials. Is it sobering to see how far the international competitor is the best of them to throw? Oh, yeah, definitely. When I was at the Pan American Games, I watched uh, the Cuban uh, Guillermo Martinez, who was supposed to be here, except his visa didn't uh, come in. But uh, he threw 87 meters, and it, it makes it human, you know. I, I've seen these on YouTube ever since I was a kid, these big monster throws out there. And to see them do it right before your eyes, you know, they're no different than, than me. You know, some of the guys are the same size as me, maybe smaller, and it's just like, it's possible. It, make, it makes it not, yeah, like not a superhuman thing. It's anyone can do it. Well, not anyone. You got to put in years and years of hard work. But, uh, you know, I'm right there. I've been doing the same thing these guys are doing. I just haven't hit mine yet. It's tough when you only get six throws. So just looking for that big throw still.